In this video, I'm going to teach you how to become a great tennis player if you're over the age of 50. My name is Pete. I am your totally obsessed tennis coach. And if you follow this step-by-step -step tutorial, even if you're over the age of 50, yes, you can actually improve and play better tennis. You know, what's really cool is I work with totally obsessed tennis players all over the world, and a lot of them are over 50, and many of them say that they're actually improving by watching online instruction and working on their game and working on the right thing. So if you're watching this video right now, you're in the right place. So make sure you like this video because every time you like one of my videos, you get a hundred free B2 puppy kisses. Okay, let's jump in this. Number one, if you want to be a great tennis player, you have got to get into some great shape. I'm talking about if you want to be a great tennis player, not a good tennis player. If you want to go from good to great, Get yourself in great shape. Jump rope. One of the things that I love to do is I love to, in the morning, I love to do shadow stroke workouts, where I call them Tabata, Tabata shadow stroke workouts, where I'm working for like 20 seconds, taking a 10, 15 second rest. And so I'll be working on my technique and my footwork at the same time. Just moving, getting there, boom, getting the zone, getting that energy going, improving my technique and my fitness at the same time. Because you just don't, only want to get in shape, you want to get in tennis shape. So, you know, one of the best exercises you can obviously do is high intensity training with your ground strokes and improving your technique and your fitness at the same time. Number two, and again, you can do a lot of this off the court, is develop great footwork. That's different than being in great shape because you can be in incredible shape and have terrible footwork. You can be sluggish with your feet, you don't have a split step. So, I want you to work on some fundamentals. I want you to develop a wider base, okay? Don't be here doing your split step like this. Have a wide base so then you can react, all right? Have awesome footwork technique to where you know how to hit a step in forehand, boom. You know how to hit an open stance forehand, yeah. See, the more variety you have in your feet, the more options you give yourself with your footwork and your recovery, again, you become a much better tennis player and you become intimidating, right? When you when a coach especially watches people play, the first thing we notice is, do they have good footwork or bad footwork? And I think also recreational players can start to understand respect, like, ooh, look at how that player moves their feet. Look how they float around the court. It stands out. You automatically start looking like a better tennis player. You want to know why? Because you are a better tennis player. Okay, number three, you want to become a great player over the age of 50? Stop being so obsessed with your rating and develop a growth mindset. I've literally had people call me and say, hey, if I come to your camp, can I, become, can I go from a 3.5 to a 4.0 in a weekend? It's like, uh, probably not. I can show you the path, how to go from a 3.5 to a 4.0. You're gonna experience a lot of improvement within the weekend. By the way, if you wanna train with me, go into the, uh, card, I'll put it up in the card, I'll give you an option to train with me if you want to train with me, uh, and also in the description box. But the thing is, is no, you can't go from a 3.5 to a 4.0 in one weekend. And stop making that your goal. You know, think about, well, what are the skills you need to improve to go from a 3.5 to a 4.0? And what do you need to be doing on a daily basis to ensure that happens? If you think more like that, if you have more of a growth mindset and you're not even so obsessed with the actual number being a 4-0, but actually developing the skill that will naturally just move you up to a 4-0, then you become a much better tennis player and you're gonna have more fun. Don't put some more, so much pressure on yourself on, on what the number is when people go to look up your rating, but the skills that you're developing and enjoy the process. You know, like if you're gonna come train with me, enjoy the process of learning and then enjoy the challenge of going home and keeping up with your training, right? That's how you get better. That's how you go from good to great. Let's go to the next one on the list. Number four, write down a goal of what greatness means to you, okay? So that you can actually accomplish your goal. Is it simply, winning a lot at your level, that could be your vision of what greatness is, or is it developing amazing technique, right? I mean, I will tell you right now, my uh, goal of what tennis greatness is has changed for me. You know, when I was younger, it was, you know, getting as good as I could be, 
playing a lot of tournaments, having, I did, I was obsessed with rankings and all that stuff, a lot of stuff I'm telling you not to worry about. Now, I just enjoy going out there and hit the ball and I still want to feel like the way I hit the ball improves, that it becomes cleaner, that it becomes more crisp, that my technique feels better, that yes, I can keep my footwork up at, at my age. These are all things that are important goals to me. It's, it's not, and helping you guys, that's a big goal. I'd much rather help you guys right now than help my own game, but I still love to play, I still love to hit tennis balls, but it's not all about, you know, I have no desire to go out there and play tournaments and get a certain, certain ranking. So for everybody, it's different. What is your vision of greatness? My vision of greatness is I can go out there and pretty much hit with anybody, whether they're a really good junior, they're another coach, you know, there's they're somebody my age who's, who's really good at tennis, and I go out there and hit with anybody and feel like I'm hitting a great ball. That's, that's what greatness is for me these days. What is greatness for you? What is your goal? What do you want to do? Comment below. Let me know. This is a good way, you know, have accountability buddies, and plus it's just so powerful to write things down. If you can write things down for yourself, do that, but if you can write things down in front of other people and put it out there, that's even more powerful. So in the comment section below right now, tell me, what is your goal? What is your vision of greatness for yourself? Okay, num number five, and I've already alluded to this, if you want to be great, do shadow strokes, okay? Do some shadow strokes on a daily basis. Again, I already showed you the bottom workout, that's great. I would even do like slow motion, step-by-step -step shadow strokes as well, and video yourself on how you're hitting the ball, because you can learn a lot. See, if I'm going to do the shadow swing right here, I can tell you that ball is going over the net and in. I can tell you that it's going over the net and in because I've hit enough balls, and I know my technique is clean when I do a shadow stroke. There's other people that do shadow strokes that when they go to hit, they practice their shadow swings, but every time this shadow swing's happening, guess what? That racket face was open. I don't know if you guys caught that. All those balls that I just practice are launching in the fence. So it's just not a matter of hitting a lot of shadow strokes, it's actually doing shadow strokes the right way, that the, tech, the technique is perfect. So not only do you just wanna go out there and swing randomly and fast, you wanna make sure that the swing path is perfect. Okay, number six on the list is Film yourself a lot. Film your shadow strokes. Film yourself hitting. Film your matches if you're brave enough to see what's happening from shadow strokes to hitting balls to playing a match. And the more that all three of these can sync up and look the way you want them to look, you're gonna go from good to great. Okay, number seven is a game changer and it's something that a lot of uh, players are not going to think to do on their own. It, it comes from really good coaching and that's to learn to work in small progressions. Actually at the end of this video I'm going to give you a free serve course which shows you how to work in progressions and that's how you want to treat your whole game. Most people want to do the entire piece. They, if they're serving they want to keep practicing their entire serve from the baseline. They're not willing to just do one part of the serve, break down one segment of the serve and do one exercise. That doesn't come natural for people. You gotta kinda be shown how to do this from some expert coaching and then you actually go out and do it on your own. A lot of people will be shown this by coaches but then when they go to practice on their own they won't take this very important step. Work on playing in a closed to an open environment. Lots of people, again, are not going to think to do this. They love to watch videos and then go out there and play a match and then a lot of times that's not going to work, okay? So here's an example of a closed practice. This guy works with a lot of high-level players and look what's happening. He's actually feeding the ball right out of his hand. This is a closed practice. Shallow strokes are a closed practice. There's not many variables involved that allows you to really develop perfect technique. And then what will happen, you see now it's going to a little bit more of an open practice. They're hitting cross court, but again that's more of a closed environment. You know where the ball is going and now you're practicing that rhythm cross court. And then eventually uh, you're then going to play your matches. And so the more you practice like that, and there could be many more uh, steps actually between going closed and opening up. I just kind of went through that quickly, but the more you work on that close, very controlled, and you gradually open it up until the ultimate open, which is your matches, then you're going to be able to play great. 
What happens too often is you'll take a lesson from your coach in a very closed environment. The coach will make you feel good by giving you the ball right to you. You think you're playing on fire and then you go out and play a match which is the ultimate open and you all of a sudden your game falls apart. You see there's lots of steps in between there to gradually add challenges to get yourself more comfortable and then you can start to play really good in practice and really good in your matches. But a big mistake again people make is they'll watch a video on YouTube and then they'll go try and work that in the match. Or they'll take a lesson from their coach where it's all closed and then they're feeling great on their forehand and then the match happens and it's much more open, a lot more nerves, a lot more variety on the ball and all of a sudden you find that your forehand isn't as good as you think it is. So this is a great, great thing that you want to do if you want to go from good to great over 50. Next one. Number nine on our list is eat better, okay? Make sure that what you're putting in your body is going to give you fuel to play better tennis and that you are in shape and ready to go the distance. If you can have a good diet, eat the right things as an athlete, you know that you can really extend your performance. It's what Tom Brady kind of gives himself the most credit for is he's like, look, my diet, the way I train, is above anybody else and it's one of the biggest reasons that he's still improving. The guy is actually improving at age 44 as a quarterback. This is almost unheard of. Last but not least, I know you really love tennis and I know you really want to improve but sometimes you're putting too much pressure on yourself and you're putting too much pressure to win and lose. You're putting too much stress on what your rating is. So number 10 is to have fun and enjoy the process. The more you enjoy the process of getting better and want to have fun out there, you're going to enjoy the game more and your game's actually going to improve faster. Here, so I want to leave you with, with one of these stories about how important it is to enjoy yourself. I got a call from a, from a lady who wanted to come to one of my camps. And I said, okay, it's good. She's like, well, what is the camp like? And I told her what we're doing. I'm like, and it's a lot of fun. And she goes, well, I don't want to have fun. I'm like, okay, uh, why, what do you mean? She's like, well, I don't want to have fun. I just want to get better. I'm like, well, you will get better. We're going to play a lot of tennis. We're going to do a lot of great things, uh, but it's going to be fun too. She goes, I already told you, I don't want to have fun. And then the conversation kept going like that. And I said, you know what? Uh, maybe, um, maybe this camp is not for you. I don't think this camp, and then she really, then she wanted to come really bad. She said, well, why isn't the camp, you know, good for me? Why, 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 why you say that? I, I, and I said, well, I just don't think you're going to have any fun. She goes, well, I don't want to have fun. I said, well, that's exactly why you shouldn't come. <laughs> you know, so guys, enjoy tennis. It's a game, okay? And we can get a lot better, but we're probably never going to really get paid to go out there and play and get prize money for our skills in the tennis court. So it's really all about you as an individual. So keep that in perspective. Enjoy the game. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up right now. Remember, every time you like one of my videos, you get 100 free B2 Puppy Kisses from my best bud. And uh, consider subscribing. And also, if you did want to come train with me, look in the description box, in the card section, and uh, in the comment section. And you can click on a link and get on a list to, uh, we'll be in contact if you want to come work either with me one-on-one -on -one or in s a small groups of four. I call them hyper-focus camps. We'll be doing a lot of both this year in 2022 because I want to meet you. I want to meet those totally obsessed tennis players out there. This is your totally obsessed tennis coach signing off. We'll see you guys on the next video. It's time to develop a serve with massive power and spin without giving up your accuracy or consistency. Without having to spend hours and hours on the court every day for the rest of your life and without having to spend thousands of dollars on lessons that just don't work. My name is Peter Freeman. I'm the founder of Crunch Time Coaching. You may have seen my serve videos on YouTube where I have over 8 million views. Or maybe you've seen me interview the great Rick Macy, Gigi Fernandez, or Rod Laver. If you want to finally separate the truth from the lies, throw out all the junk and clutter that just holds your game back, you have come to the right place. After playing and coaching now for nearly 40 years, I've compiled everything you need to do to transform your serve this year into a seven day serve obsession challenge. It's an insane $1,060 value. If this is finally where your serve transformation begins, wouldn't it be worth it?